Yeah, that, that's the short of it right there, Lady Brown. Three white cops, one armed black man shot three times in the back. No, he didn't even reach for the gun. He was running away from him. He got shot in the back. Did they tase him first? They tried to, but he reached for him. Yeah, there was like a, a some kind of confrontation. Well, he had no weapon on him. Um, and it's then it, some people say that like in that confrontation, the 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 guy got the taser out and tased the cop, and then started to run. Oh, he tased the shit. Yeah, and so it's kind of a it was honestly a revenge killing. I got like, oh, you tased me, I'll oh, fucking shoot you in the back, so right? Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, Rhonda, that that's real. Even without video of the actual shooting, three shots to the back of an unarmed man can't be swept under the rug, especially when the victim was black and all three men who shot at him were white. Can't sweep that under the rug. Look, geek, look, geek. Because there were people there too earlier. Oh, we got some LEOs hiding in the bushes over there. I thought I thought they were joking when y'all said LEOs were hiding in the bushes. Nah. They got the whole thing covered. That's why they got to take out their own one go back there. They're trying to hide some shit. Well, I didn't even know that they hide Oh, awesome. Glad the radio show is here watching. Thank you, Angel's Choice. Uh, if y'all want to help more people see this, share it. Um, even if you log off, people can still see the live feed on your stream if I'm still live and uh, they can catch the recording later. Um, I've been going live from a lot of actions in the last couple weeks here around downtown Atlanta, Centennial Park, uh, at the Capitol Building, getting tear gas and whatnot. Uh, 